my name's Kyle, and this is Track by Track, music reviews, news, and commentary. Today, I'm coming to you on location from a spot that's unexpectedly become a small part of music history. Believe it or not, this convenience store behind me is actually the real-life setting for one of rock's most iconic holiday songs. In November 1980, Dan Fogelberg released what would become one of his biggest songs, Same Old Lang Syne. It tells the story of a pair of former lovers who run into each other by chance as each is picking up last-minute party supplies on Christmas Eve. Since the bars in this small town are closed for the holiday, the two share a six-pack in the car as they reminisce. As it turns out, Fogelberg's song was actually autobiographical, and although the factual details of the story and the identity of the old lover referenced in the lyric kept secret for years, the true story behind the song was finally revealed following Fogelberg's death of prostate cancer in 2007. In fact, the story was finally told by none other than the lover herself. But while the setting of Same Old Lang Syne may indeed be a nondescript small town convenience store, the story truly begins years earlier. The building you see behind me is the Woodruff Career and Technical Center in Peoria, Illinois. Today, it's a vocational school, but in the 1960s, this building housed the area high school where future hitmaker Dan Fogelberg was a member of the class of 1969. It was at this high school where Fogelberg met his then-girlfriend, Jill Anderson. They had an on-again, off-again relationship during their high school years and even continued dating as they attended separate Illinois colleges. But the relationship finally ended when Dan set off across the country to chase his dream of a career in music. His first hit came in 1974 with the album Souvenirs, produced by Eagles guitarist Joe Walsh. The album ended up going double platinum, certainly solidifying Dan Fogelberg as one of Woodruff High School's most esteemed alumni. In fact, the street this former high school is located on has even been renamed in Fogelberg's honor. Which brings us to Christmas Eve, 1975, at this Peoria convenience store just a half a mile up the road from that high school. As fate would have it, both Dan and Jill were in town to visit family for the holidays, and the two of them had each trekked out separately on Christmas Eve errands. Dan was on a quest to find whipped cream for Irish coffee, while Jill was on the hunt for eggnog. With most other stores already closed, this convenience store became their only viable option, and thus, a chance encounter that became a hit song came to pass. It would actually be another five years before Dan Fogelberg released the song that was inspired by that night. By that time, Jill had divorced from the man that the song had referred to as an architect, but who was in real life a PE teacher. The breakdown of that marriage should come as no surprise when you consider one of the song's most telling lyrics. She would have liked to say she loved the man, but she didn't like to lie. Of course, when Jill first heard the song, she knew immediately that it was about her. That was a secret that she kept for more than 20 years. In the days following Dan Fogelberg's death in December of 2007, Jill finally revealed the true story behind the song. Her interview appeared, appropriately enough, in their mutual hometown Peoria newspaper. So next time you hear the song, Same Old Lang Syne, raise a toast to innocence. Raise a toast now. But more than that, raise a toast to Dan and Jill and their star-crossed reunion on Christmas Eve 1975 at this convenience store in Peoria, Illinois. Of course, it's only appropriate to end our trip with a visit to the Dan Fogelberg Memorial, which has been erected in Dan's hometown right here along the Peoria Riverside.
Once again, my name is Kyle, and this has been Track by Track. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Plus, check out some of these other videos below that I think you might also enjoy. And of course, be sure to click subscribe, because true music fans always want new releases the day they come out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.